Um, it felt like more than a win, you know, to, to, to be honest. I think for a lot of reasons, you know, um, certainly full capacity, the energy was felt like, um, we do that without, uh, you know, the, the, the place just kind of rocking, you know, all, all throughout the night. And then um, the first time, uh, you know, Melanson's really given up anything without an inherited runner. So to be able to pick him up for so many times that he's picked us up through the year um, and then obviously, you know, the, the, the magical finish there. So um, this one, uh, uh, feels like more than just a regular win, and and now we got to come back and and play good baseball tomorrow. That's how we that's how we get this thing going. How about, what did that moment you think mean to Haas, who struggled a little bit, but for him to come through there when it, when it really mattered? Um, I think, I think, um, yeah, special for him, uh, no doubt about it. But I would say, as hard as he's been working. Um, it probably felt as good for his teammates as well, pulling for him uh, in true excitement for him uh, to step up in that in that moment and, and to, you know, to, to, to put that swing on it and tie the game up. So, um, yeah, I'm sure he feels good, but probably even more so how happy his teammates and everybody is for him. Uh, so many factors. I mean, the, the the place, the pregame ceremony, just the fans, the electricity in the stands, and you know, just, just uh, going out there. The guys like this is you know what it's supposed to feel like. Uh, and then to you know have a lead and and uh, you know to lose it, and then to fight back with with, with the way everything happened. Uh, a lot of up and down emotion. Certainly, you know, the eighth ninth inning. Um, uh, so to, to to come out on top, especially after, you know, as hard of our, our, our last two and a half, three weeks have been, um, you know, this one feels extra special and it feels like it's got a chance to get us going. Great question. The the, the, the first point to, to the energy, um, just doing the, the, the introductions and having the frontline workers and uh, the guy that, you know, hit the anthem, like absolutely nailed it. And, and uh uh, our team on the line and just uh, to be what we call one blood, one unit, and then to have the, the stadium rock, we could feel it. And, and that was extra special. Uh, and, uh, you know, does this happen without the fans? My honest, immediate uh, reaction is no, I, I, I don't think so. I think, you know, just everything they, they, they brought tonight and, uh, you know, for, for our group to continue to fight and, and, and uh, finish it off that way. Um, we need you guys tomorrow. You know, let's let, let's keep it going. And everything to me. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's just it's been so long since we've had like a full crowd in there. I swear to God, it felt like a playoff game at the start of the game. I mean, the nerves I had, the intensity, I had to kind of slow myself down there after that first hitter. But um, it was just so much fun. And, and for us to be able to pull out the win the way we did is uh, makes it even more special. Hi, Joe. Where does this game rank with all-time games that you've seen at Petco Park and or, or in San Diego as a fan or as a pitcher? I mean, in recent memory, this is by far the best. Um, you know, you can kind of feel the stadium get a little bit deflated there when when uh, Mark gave up the home run to give them the two-run lead. Um, you know, but coming in, you see the way Hendricks, you know, kind of head whacking and looked over aggressive, wanting to kind of slam the door, got a little bit ahead of himself and put, you know, uh, Manny on him four pitches um, and we get runners on base Manny's real smart and he's a great base runner he takes second there to, to pull us out of the double play opportunity um, and then our guys just put together really good at bats you know crony battles the three two and gets that ball into center and um, you know Vic made sure he got his pitch and did some damage on it but uh, that's you know by far one of the best games I've, I've been a part of and um, you know one of the best I've seen at Petco. Did you could you guys just fill this place I mean, really rocking the entire game, just sh especially. Yeah, the energy was, the like I said, it felt like a playoff game. I mean, at the first pitch, it was everyone on their feet screaming. Um, you know, it felt good. It's exciting because this, this city's waited a long time to have a team of this caliber come through and um, be able to perform the way we have so far. And, you know, going on the road and being on that little skid and not feeling like we're, you know, putting things together and, and piecing everything together perfectly um, to come home and, you know, get shut out for the first, I think, five or six innings and then 
you know, Toddy hits the big homer, which is a huge relief off of me. It allows me to go out there and continue to attack, um, you know, knowing that I have a little bit of a lead there. And then Manny comes up next inning and extends it a little bit. Um, it's just, it was really good for the team. And it's something that we all needed. And we needed to kind of be down a little bit and fight our way back and earn a win. Um, and I think we did everything right tonight. Joe, it's been so long since you guys have played in front of a packed house like this. Was there a reacclimation period at all to like, well, this is what it's supposed to be like? Yeah. Um, I mean, more excitement than anything, you know, just the energy, you know, we feed off the crowds and, you know, going from playing a whole season with no one in the stands at all and trying to create that energy amongst ourselves. Um, it's nice to have, you know, a crowd full of people that are that are diehard fans that are, you know, been waiting for this for a long time. So, um, you know, it's a big shout out to the fans of San Diego for, you know, for showing up and for supporting us the way they have. No, no, en verdad que nosotros tenemos mucha confianza en el equipo que tenemos. Obviamente, este... La serie contra Colorado en verdad pues no, no, nos dio un poco y en verdad que la necesitamos para pa tener esos ánimos ahí y, y tener esa confianza para atrás porque nosotros tenemos un equipo que es un equipo tremendo y la ofensiva, defensiva y el picheo y que, que sí que podemos llegar hasta la serie mundial y ganar ese último juego. Yeah, I think we, we believe in the team that we have. We have a lot of belief in this group, uh, you know, but that said, I think the series in, in Colorado hit us pretty hard. So, you know, having having a win like this and, and having that energy, I think, really helps because we've got a tremendous team. We've got a really good group uh, offensively, defensively pitching. I think we've got it all. So hopefully this can get us going and, you know, we can we can win a World Series and hopefully we're on the field and we win that last game of the season. Victor, how would you describe the difference between hitting a home run in an empty ballpark and then hitting a home run in a spot like tonight and having the crowd react like it did? No, en verdad, emocionante. Este, lo había dicho, creo que se lo había dicho a los muchachos que, que era algo este bonito tenerlo otra vez, tener toda esa fanaticada y sentir ese apoyo, en verdad que eh, saber lo que uno de verdad este, esperaba cuando, cuando uno está en Grandes Ligas, sentir ese apoyo de todos esos fanáticos y nada, con eso de, de COVID que, que el año pasado no tuvimos fanáticos y vamos poco a poco y llegar en el momento de 100% en verdad que es algo bien bonito para nosotros y estamos agradecidos por, por la fanaticada que llegó hoy. Yeah, I think it's it's really exciting. I was saying it to the guys earlier. It's you know it's just great to be back and and having everyone here, having that that hundred percent, having having all the fans back in the stadium because that's what you think of. That's what that's what you grow up thinking of when you're going to the big leagues, right? You, you're in the big leagues and you have stadiums full of fans. Uh, so it was really it was really great, especially after last year with COVID and everything being so empty and you know slowly building up to to have everyone here tonight. Um, you know, it was really awesome, and, and that's thanks to the fans for for turning out.